Obviously, it's the year of cotton. There's been so many games in this franchise released this year for the Nintendo Switch and other consoles, like Cotton Reboot, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then we got the Saturn tribute of cotton games. Awesome stuff. And then recently, Cotton 100% came out, and I did a review on that. Actually, came out today. I did a review the other day. And then Panorama Cotton came out alongside Cotton 100%. Don't know how many times I'm going to say Cotton today, but I kind of wish they would have uh, merged some of these into single collections type of thing as it's, it's Cotton Overload. And I think there's still more to come. So both of these games up on the screen right here, they released digitally today on the North American Nintendo Switch eShop and on PlayStation. There is a physical edition that's being released through Strictly Limited Games. That's a standard edition, like 35 bucks per game. Like each has its own single release. And then there's like collector's editions, that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a little crazy. I'm not sure if they're going to have a release in North America, specifically on Amazon, like Cotton Reboot. Have to keep an eye out for that. But if you want to check out Strictly Limited Games, that's where the physical is at. Now, when I reviewed Cotton 100%, there were some issues with this game. Some bugs, if you will. The aspect ratio options don't work, and they still don't work. I thought, okay, well, I had a pre-release copy. Maybe it'll be updated and fixed. I've uninstalled it, reinstalled it, double-checked. Still doesn't work properly, uh, and I'm hoping Panorama Cotton, with it being formatted the same way and, and put out by the same people, I'm hoping we don't have issues here. But the other big thing of note is that both of these releases, they do have English you know, menus and UIs. like You can navigate things, get into the games just fine. But story elements are in Japanese. They did not translate them for this release. I think that's kind of crazy uh, with other games that they've put out or they've worked on, uh, like Glaylancer having English translations. Why couldn't these games have it as well? What What is there to really make the game special? They're cool games. A lot of people love them, and it's awesome to have access to them on the Switch. But you know, a little English translation would have been nice. But there is good news. Holy crap. So in in company behind this game, they did announce today that there will be a patch to include English amongst many other languages for the story elements to be coming soon, hopefully. But yes, both of these games eventually will have English in them. But okay, let's take a quick look. We have standard challenge and then credits, just like Cotton 100%. Standard is like you have rewind save states and cheats if you unlock them. Challenge is just like you're playing the original game. The original game is a Japanese exclusive, came out for the Mega Drive back in, I believe it was 1994. But let's go ahead and uh, check out standard. The options, uh, what is this? Shot overheat specifies how shooting behaves in game. Original hold down the shoot button, slows down firing after two seconds. Okay, uh, off the slowdown's disabled. Okay, I'm gonna leave it off. Uh, and then you have video options. This is what I'm hoping. Like, okay, full screen, 4-3, and then perfect. Okay, those work. And then shaders, we do have the CRT stuff, which I think, like, you can really dial it in and get it to look the way you want it with all that, that curvature and whatnot. Like, so many options. They did a real good job with this, I, I think. Corner round, CRT gamma, all that stuff. Let's go ahead and, uh, but that's, that's strange. Like, okay, I, I manipulated everything. Then I go down to default and it, it, it doesn't reset anything. So some of these menu options are still a little, uh, a little iffy. It's not doing crap. So let me go ahead and I'm going to turn that off. Put it to, to, uh, four, three, go back, back, and then. Oh, let me check the cheats. Uh, challenge mode, you have to beat it in challenge mode. So what happened on Cotton 100% was I beat it in standard mode and it unlocked the cheat mode for like two minutes and then it disappeared. So that was a little bug. I don't know if it's gonna have the same issue here, but let's go ahead and get into it. See, I don't I don't know what the story is here. I can't, I can't read this stuff, man. Oh well, that's my fault. So this is supposed to be kind of like Space Harrier. I've never played this one. I've played most of the other releases, but this one I never played before. I heard some people mention um, on Twitter that there are some graphics glitches here and there or some like pixels that were invisible where they shouldn't have been or missing effects, something in one particular stage, like in one part. 
think it was stage two. I'm not 100% familiar with the game, so so far it's it's looking cool. Oh, if I just hold the button down, I don't I don't overheat because I turned that option off. All right. Wait, are those collectible items? I don't know. There's no uh, manual in the game or anything. Like, it would have been nice if these games went a little bit further with these releases by adding, like, an in-game manual, like the original manual, and, like, translate it. Have it in Japanese, then have it in English, Spanish, you know, whatever. Italiano. I don't know, just... It would have been cool to have those little extras, man, to put these these releases above and beyond. Kind of like the uh, horizontal shooters better. Got like a special attack. I'm not, not really noticing like input latency lag issues. Everything's uh, feeling all right. All right, a little, little difference in scenery. Oh, shit. That, that's... I, I like that. That was kind of like, boom, going down the uh, the waterfall there, the cliff. That, that was kind of cool. Shit, level down. I'm, I'm getting, getting fucked up here. Oh, my God. What are these, neon cheeseburgers? Like, those sprites, like... If you could use, like, I, I don't know. It, like, okay, you pause the game. Like, I'm sure if I pause the game in front of some of those sprites. But, like, if I think it and I'm, like, slow that shit down for a second and make a snapshot in my brain for a microsecond, like, I could, like, boom, just, and I could see it and notice the details. I, I, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but, um, like, just a quick snippet and it's like yeah these sprites actually look pretty fucking good like look at those guys like they look cool man but they're going by so quick it's hard to focus that's what i probably should have said is like i focused on like the sprite like these cheeseburgers with mustaches <laughs> like acting like i got these psychic abilities where i could slow down time and see the sprites frame by frame <laughs> No, I just mean focusing in on it. Why do I gotta overcomplicate things, damn it? <laughs> oh, I could have could have I gone down right there? Oh, this is so like so much going on. Oh, get off of me. Tea time. Come on. Nope, cheeseburgers, no. Fuck. Oh, you could slow down or speed up. I'm a fool. Pressing the, 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 the Y button. I didn't even notice the speed meter. What the heck? This is so busy looking, man. Oh, they're coming from behind, these little bitches. What are those? Oh my God. Yeah. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. Oh. What's going on here? Am I just destroying the bridge? What is going on? Oh, I'm fighting that thing, but I could destroy the background? Is that a cupcake? Okay, I, I like this game, man. I never played this one before. I like it and I just died. I like this game. I, I wouldn't mind having this physical. I hope they release them on Amazon here. Let's see where I start off at. Oh, all the way back. Okay, like, this is not a full-on review. This is just, like, initial impressions from a dude who never played this game before. But this is pretty dope, man. What is that stuff? What are those arrows? I don't understand. 
But there you go, man. Check the game out. Um, wish I could play more. I don't want this to be an hour-long video, but yeah, this is a, this is a cool one. This is a neat game. Like, yeah, play it. However, you got to play it, man. PlayStation, Switch, whatever, right? But there you go, man. Cool one. Oh, you can move down. What? So, like, I'm underneath the track now? I kept waiting for those spots. I was like, I want to try. Where am I? What is going I was trying to end the video, but now I'm like... I'm in the upside down or some shit. Oh, the arrows tell you, like, hey, you could go back up or you can go back down. This is... This is freaking neat, man. Let me know what you guys think. Have you ever played this game before? Um, I initially started this video saying how like I really like the uh, horizontal shooter versions better, but I never played this one before, and I really like this one. If I were to pick out of the two uh, recent releases, Cotton 100% or this one, I would pick this one. Um, I mean, Cotton 100% is fine, but it, it's essentially just a remake of the original game. For the Super Nintendo back in the day. Uh, but this is this is different. This is cool. Appreciate you guys. Big ass blurry thumb button in your face. Thank you. Bye.